Hey and welcome to my video. I'm Birth R&B. Today I want to create something that is very traditionally Icelandic and it's actually the part of the Icelandic traditional costume or wardrobe or whatever and it's called Upplutur uh, which would directly translate to an up thing. There are two different types of them, one from the 19th century and another from the 20th century and it's very expensive to make and I want to try and make it on a budget because I'm cheap like that. I don't have the patterns for it so I'm just gonna try and work in some pattern that I found because all the patterns for the real thing you have to go to a seminar today is the evening of the 14th which is a Monday I want to release this video on Thursday so that gives me just under or just over two days to finish this project and um, <sighs> what am I thinking? Even on a budget, uh, for someone like me, I don't have experience with trying to fit something from another pat pattern and mix it with another. So I actually just got a par pattern that kind of looked similar in the shape of the thing as the Uppluter does. So the pattern that I chose for this project is the Butterwick B4669 which is like a medieval kind of west kind of thing. I mean, this is made for costuming. Um, this is kind of costuming, I don't know. I, I hope I'm not offending anyone by trying to make this on a budget. And the reason I wanna do this before the 17th is because the 17th of June is the Icelandic Independence Day. The day we got away from the Danes. Don't quote me on that. For the materials, I see the Uppludur is mostly like shiny, satiny kind of thing. I, I did not have the time to go and see it in person. So I'm just basing all of this on photos from the internet. Yeah, like I said, I want a budget. So I found all the materials that I need it all, all the fabrics i found them in my stash so <laughs> really nothing is bought for this project fabric wise uh when it comes to the kind of everything else i bought stuff for it this is the fabric that i chose for the bodice and everything else it's shiny just like it's supposed to look and it feels very nice uh, the only thing that's kind of stressing me out is that it's kind of slippery this is from a dress that i had that i wasn't using anymore and this is the skirt part i think we can make it work for the lining we have these pants that i was gifted from a friend that had dropped a couple of sizes was super well done and said that i could use the fabric to do whatever i wanted with them so i'm going to use this for the lining on the inside of the uppluder for the actual embroidered like the fancy part on the front i'm going to use this dress that i'm not using anymore it's kind of too short for me. I will get a better use out of it as a uppluter than anything else. So I want to sacrifice it for for the class. I even tried to embroider some stuff to it because I do have the golden thread and just realized I'm no genius with embroidery but that's a thing for later. And last but not least is kind of an extra thing if I do have the time to create a skirt. This will be the material I want for the skirt. I think it would be paired nicely because it has a little bit of shine but still kind of looks like the traditional skirt that they do have. And if worst comes to worst I will just wear the skirt because it's long and nice and I think it fits with everything else. Uh, it's only these three parts as far as I understand it so that's a lot easier than the Sailor's Day dress because that was like 300 steps. Uh, if you haven't seen that that was my first time using a pattern and you can see it here. Most of the work I had to do was in regards to the pants and I think I flayed them completely so now I can do patterns. <music> Early 
early Thursday, I got my vaccine, finally. When I came home, the boys were fast asleep and I got very tired as well, so I took a nap. I slept way too long. There's nothing in here. I don't drink coffee, but... I feel kinda... Like when you sleep too long, and you get tired in your head, in the front of your head, that's what I'm feeling. If I go over everything I did last night, I did the, I actually bought like correct kind of interfacing this time. So I have the front thing with interfacing on all three pieces. And I also did from the suede kind of material, the thing that will be on the front here. So two pieces i'm gonna eat and maybe not look like a slob at four in the afternoon it kind of dawned on me how many elements i'm making i'm sewing and creating everything for a hat for a vest for a bodice for all the embroidery and everything on there and it's going to be a lot of work and the day is six o'clock on tuesday I think I can do it. I think it's just going to be very, very, very stressful. So what do you do to release stress? <laughs> you shake the primer. Okay. It took me about 15 hours to get to this point, but I finally got one of them stitched together so i just traced the thing up here and or traced is probably not the correct word but i just whatever the whatever up the whatever uh, so the half of the bodice looks like this before i realized hmm how am i gonna get the it's not suede but it's kind of suede <laughs> on there so i'm gonna take this apart again for the 13th time I'm gonna take this apart and actually kind of just get it on here and stop somewhere around here so this is what I'm talking about that I'm gonna be doing this is the one I was trying on it's very nice I like it finally got the hang of how it's supposed to look and now I can get this thing stuck to this thing and then get the other part to here it will make sense, maybe, later. Gorn also had an obligation to take on board the advice of the Council of Gondor, which was formed of the Lords of the Feats and Captains of the Forces of Gondor. After sewing this about four times, um, I forgot to do stuff, but I'm just going to leave it out because I can't be bothered to do it for the fifth time. I've got a, I've, I've got a lot of stuff to do. I've got to keep on moving. So here we kind of have this laying on me Ooh. what's next is pinning this and getting this onto the back back piece the back piece and then i can model it better i just realized i have a lining that i'll need to do the same thing too This is the back and front sewn together without being sewn at the sides. I look kind of... I just need my motorcycle for this look because my hair is also a mess right now. Um, I'm really debating having... doing the lining too, but I think I'll need it. I need it. I'm going to do that off camera really quick get that out there and move on this is not helping my case here i finished with the lining of the vest so i'm gonna go on move on to the binding i'm very 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 tempted to use this pink material for for the binding but i think 
this project is blasphemous enough for me to go on and do that so I think I will end up using the skirt material I don't think I will have the time to do the skirt uh, judging by this hour this moment this time so I'm gonna do the binding out of this I think it might look nice even give it some more texture even though we already have like three textures and yeah <music> I am currently on step 9, which told me to put the wrong sides together and pin everything together, so I have done that. I don't know why, I think it's because I will put binding around everything later, but um, I'm just gonna trust the process, trust the process, and hopefully it will look good. And my back is aching. I do have the bias binding for everyone, everyone in the family, it's very pretty. So all the right sides are facing out and the wrong sides are together. This is the front, this is the front and the back. I am immensely, superbly ultra tired, uh, my back is tired, so I based it this beautiful uterus, 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 and uh, I'm gonna call that a day for this. I'm gonna paint all the things that I primed today, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. Sleep. <laughs> This is all I did yesterday evening. I'm gonna go another round over most of these, I guess. I will not be using those, maybe on the belt though, maybe. So I might prime and do another round of these, but these will be the main thing on the bodice. This will be the belt as well. Then I made this beauty from the necklace. You can see it's definitely not nice on the inside. So I'm gonna try and use this guy to like brrr, clean this mess out. I've never done binding before, so I kind of want to document this because I didn't find this anywhere online. So this is the lining, like the correct side of the lining. This is the outside. So you start with pinning it the inside here I decided to stop here because I don't want the lining to go all the way down um, so you sew this part and then you flip it and sew the other part like on the outside I have done the back breaking work of um, getting everything together I have fitted it along the way and um, it is too small for me and I'll show you how but <laughs> I I want to try and maybe get something running down here um, I, I mean I can I think I can make it work it's a make it work moment like someone from some reality show said um, but since this is too small, I don't think I'll go into all the embroidery stuff if I'm not going to be able to use it. Uh, this is so, so frustrating though. Uh, <laughs> I put so much effort into this, but it's a make it work moment. Let's try and fix this. <laughs> I made lacing to the bodice that I really wanted to work but really didn't. I added the eyelets and they looked very cute. The bunnies were not quite happy with me putting them in but I didn't record that so here's how it looks with the thing on. Here it is with the chain and I think I did it correctly and the chain is fastened here up here and here it is on and it looks 
completely wrong. It's just way too small. What an adventure this has been. Uh, obviously, this is too small for me. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna try and make some beautiful, wonderful bead roll of this because it just doesn't make sense because it doesn't fit me and it wouldn't look right. And I realized my mistake was from a couple of weeks ago when I bought the pattern and I thought I had done all the research back then in what was my size. So just when I started to make this, because I also wanted to make a complete mock-up of this from this pattern before I made this uppluder, uh, but I didn't have the time to do it. So I don't, I just have pieces of fabric now that I know are to something that won't fit me. I'm going to try and make that work somehow. Um, <laughs> Just so that's not going to waste because I do have spare fabrics for that to maybe get, get it to work. I am really truly happy with what I made. It's, I think it's really well made actually for just, just for my non-experience with sewing. I think it's just kind of beautiful. It's just the incorrect size and that's obviously a, a user error that's my fault that's just me not reading and paying enough attention to what I was gonna be doing uh, yesterday when I tried it on and realized like there's no way it's gonna fit me I tried I tried it with a corset even just to make my waist smaller and everything but it just would not look right so I'm gonna keep this as a souvenir and this will be labeled part one because I already ordered a new pattern in the correct size that will be the redemption to this where I will make a complete uppluder with all the accessories and not as much of a time constraint. So I guess that's it for this week and I'll see you next week. Until then, bye! <laughs>